Yo, what's good, you're point three here back in the day, and today, guys, I'm going to be reviewing the brand new 2018 BMW number one M Motorsport M8 GTE. Now, this car is now available to all players of Forza Motorsport 7 absolutely free. When you sign into the game, it should just be right there in your garage ready to go. Now, this car hasn't been out too long as it is a 2018 model, thus, it really hasn't been able to prove if this car is good or not but honestly guys just looking at this thing it looks like an absolute beast this thing looks like it's going to be a hell of a lot of fun to drive and one of the cool things about this is this is the first bmw race car to ever be produced and put into action before its production counterpart now that is something special right there my dudes that is something special but right now guys let's go ahead and take a look at how this thing performs on the track. So I've been driving this BMW M8 GTE around Top Gear for some time now. And the first thing that I want to say about this car is I don't like it. And I don't know why I don't like it because there's really not anything to not like about this car. It handles extremely well. It is probably one of the best handling cars that I've ever driven here in Forza. It's not super slow. It has 504 horsepower, 420 pound-feet of torque, and weighs just a little bit more than 2,700 pounds. But honestly, I don't know why, but when I drive this car, I feel like it's dull. I feel depressed, and I don't know why that is. It's one of the weirdest phenomenons that I've ever had testing any cars here in Forza. There's just something about it I don't like, and it's not the looks. It's not the way this car feels. I, I just cannot put my finger on it. I really cannot, and I don't know why I don't like this car. Because as you guys see, I'm going around the corners. Nothing bad is happening. Nothing is going wrong whatsoever. We go through this corner. I come up to here. Now, we, we kind of got a little bit of an understeer there. But as I'm going full throttle through here, it, it's not spinning. It's not doing anything. It's just doing exactly what you'd want it to do. And I have traction control off. This thing is ridiculously insane at handling it is an amazing handling car but because of that i almost feel like it's dull by comparison to a bunch of other cars in its class i opted into a ferrari 458 gte car and i had a blast driving it but i got behind the wheel of this again right after and i said "Ugh," and i don't know why i really don't know why this car just it's overall amazing I took it on some races, I did a bunch of other things with this, and I, 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 it handled and did exactly what I wanted it to do. But just taking it here around Top Gear so many times, I just feel, I don't know, unfulfilled. It is the weirdest feeling I've ever had testing out any car in this game. It's bizarre, I know, I know. But guys, leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think of this car. You guys know what I think of it, I don't really like it, but... At the same time, I'm probably going to use it some more because it, it wins races. That's what this car will do. It's going to win some damn races. So I'm going to use it again. But leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys actually think of this car. As well, if you guys want to, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at twitter.com forward slash square 413 and instagram.com forward slash square 413. And if you guys like this video, go make sure to hit that like button down below for us because you guys already know your support is so greatly appreciated. And make sure to subscribe for more videos coming out all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.